Hi viewers, welcome back. As we have already discussed about the causes of infertility and about intrauterine insemination which is one of the major procedure in the management of infertility. Today let us see in vitro fertilization in detail. Come on and let's get started. It is the process in which an egg is fertilized by the sperm outside the body that is in vitro. It is a major treatment for infertility. In Latin, in vitro means glass tubes as tissue cultures are grown in test tubes or petri dishes which is commonly known as test tube baby. Mr. Lewis is the first test tube born baby. In 2010, Sir Edwards was awarded the Nobel Prize in the Physiology of Medicine for the development of in vitro fertilization. What are the indications of IVF? It is most clearly indicated in cases in which there are one or more causes having no effective treatment, tubal diseases, endometriosis, ovulatory dysfunction, age-related infertility, male factor infertility, pre-implantation genetic testing and unexplained causes in all these conditions in vitro fertilization is indicated. The steps in in vitro fertilization include initial evaluation, suppression of the natural hormone cycle, ovulation stimulation, collection of the oocytes, collection of sperm, in vitro fertilization of the oocytes and the embryo transfer. The initial evaluations include blood test, seminal fluid examinations, hysterosalpingiogram and transvaginal ultrasonography. Next step is suppression of natural hormonal cycle. The suppression drugs are given to prevent the spontaneous ovulation. In an IVF cycle, natural ovulation must not happen as the physician will not be able to retrieve the eggs. So, suppression of the natural hormonal cycle is done. The drugs used for suppression is oral contraceptive pills 1, 2, 3 for 2 to 4 weeks from the starting day of the cycle. Lupron or luprolide acetate that is gonadotrophin releasing hormone suppresses the LH surge which prevents the release of immature eggs. Usually the injection is given subcutaneously every morning. Nephirelin, a gonadotrophin releasing hormone agonist which is given as a nasal spray three times a day. Canirilex, acetate injection which is a cetratide gonadotrophin releasing hormone antagonist is also used for this purpose. The next step ovarian stimulation is done. Ovarian stimulation is done to produce multiple mature follicles than single egg normally developed each month. It produces many good follicles which is suitable for fertilization. Many eggs are stimulated because some eggs may or may not get fertilized or may not develop normally after fertilization. Variant stimulation is always regularly monitored with an ultrasonography. Medications which is commonly used for ovarian stimulation include human menopausal gonadotrophin, follicle stimulating hormone, luteinizing hormone which is used in combination with the follicle stimulating hormone, human chorionic gonadotrophin hormone and clomiphene citrate. The medications used to prevent premature ovulation include gonadotrophin releasing hormone agonist gonadotrophin releasing hormone antagonist generally stimulation requires 8 to 14 days there are few
few side effects of ovarian stimulation which include discomfort, bruising and swelling in the injection site, allergic reactions, rashes, headache, mood swings, abdominal discomfort and blotting, multiple pregnancies and OHSS. Now let us see how to collect these oocytes. These oocytes maturation is done by an injection called as HCG which is commonly termed as triggerer shot. The egg retrieval is performed usually between 34 to 36 hours after the HCG administration. Egg retrieval is done by a transvaginal ultrasound aspiration. Egg retrieval is done under short general anesthesia and the procedure lasts for 20 to 30 minutes. In some circumstances, both the ovaries may not be able to be reached by a transvaginal ultrasound. So, a laparoscopy may be done to retrieve the eggs by use of a telescope placed in the umbilicus. Now, the eggs are aspirated from the follicles through the needles connected to the suction device. Usually, 10 to 15 oocytes are aspirated. These eggs are prepared and stripped from the surrounding cells. After the retrieval of the eggs and they are assessed for the maturity and quality. Once the eggs are collected, the mature eggs are placed in a culture media and transferred to an incubator to evade the fertilization by the sperm. Next comes the sperm collection. Shortly before or after the oversight collection, the male partner is asked to give a sperm sample. Sexual abstinence for 3 to 4 days before sperm collection is emphasized. Sample is collected 60 to 90 minutes before the fertilization process. The collected sperm is liquefied, centrifuged, suspended in culture media for 30 to 60 minutes at 37 degrees Celsius. The most active sperms are located in the surface of the medium. Sperm can also be obtained from testicles, epididymis and vast difference for men whose semen is void of sperm due to obstruction or inadequate production of sperm. Here comes the vital part of in vitro fertilization. Fertilization now is started with 10,000 to 15,000 motile sperms in 100 ml culture media in which the oocyte is being incubated. Intracytoplasmic sperm injections is indicated in cases where seminal fluid doesn't contain sperm. What is ICSI? Intracytoplasmic sperm injection. Here an embryologist draws up a sperm cell into a microscopic needle and injects it into an oocyte. Fertilization check is performed the next day approximately 18 hours after sperm injection or insemination of the eggs. Usually 65 to 75 percent of mature eggs are fertilized after insemination. Are you able to see this embryo culture incubators? They are nothing but artificial wombs. They are cultured in special incubators to support the division and development of the egg. If there is a history of genetic disorders, pre-genetic counseling may be required. The development of embryo takes place from fertilized egg to 2 cell stage, 4 cell stage, 8 cell stage, 16 cell stage and it becomes a blastocyst.
embryo transfer may be performed in day 2 3 or 5 post fertilization one or more embryos suspended in a drop of culture media or drawn into a transfer catheter which is a long thin sterile tube with a syringe on one end the tip of the transfer catheter is guided through the cervix with the fluid containing embryos into the uterine cavity. There is a common question that how many eggs are transferred at a time. In case if the woman is less than 35 years, two eggs can be transferred. 35 to 37 years, 2 to 3 eggs, 38 to 40 years, 3 to 4 eggs. And in case if the woman is more than 40 years, up to 5 eggs can be transferred. For patients with previous IVF failure or poor prognosis, more numbers can be used according to the clinical judgment. Let us also have an idea about this gift and zift. What is gift? It is the gamut intrafallopian transfer. It is similar to IVF but the gametes egg and the sperm are transferred to the women's fallopian tubes rather than her uterus and fertilization takes place in the fallopian tubes rather than in the lab. In case of zift, that is zygote intrafallopian transfer, the technique differs from gift that the fertilization takes place in the lab rather than the fallopian tubes, but is similar in that the fertilized egg is transferred to the tubes rather than the uterus. In today's video, we have discussed about in vitro fertilization, gift and zift procedure. Hope this was informative and interesting. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more videos.